Hi, today we are going to talk about diabetes mellitus and its alterations in carbohydrate metabolism. In DM patients, insulin to glucagon ratio decreases because as in type 1, there is not enough insulin in the body or as in type 2, the body is less responsive to insulin. So the actions of glucagon become predominant and it will raise the blood glucose level too high. It stimulates the pathways that increase the blood glucose levels, gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis, and inhibits the pathways that uptake, utilize and store glucose. Glycolysis, TCA cycle, glycogenesis and HNP pathway. Let's look how it happens. Glycolysis. Here are the initial steps of glycolysis. Glucokinase enzyme which is found in liver and phosphofructokinase are insulin dependent enzymes. The reactions they catalyze are the rate limiting steps of the glycolysis. But now their activity is reduced as insulin to glucagon ratio is decreased. Glucagon inhibits both enzymes. Rate of glycolysis is reduced. Hexose monophosphate pathway. Here are the oxidative irreversible steps of hexose monophosphate pathway. The step that is catalyzed by glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase or G6PD is the rate limiting step of this pathway. As the insulin to glucagon ratio decreases, that enzyme activity is reduced. The pathway is suppressed. This is what happens with the glycogen metabolism. In the liver, glucagon comes and increases the cyclic AMP levels in the cell, which activates the cyclic AMP-dependent protein kinase. It phosphorylates glycogen synthase enzyme and inactivates it. The glycogen synthesis is inhibited due to reduced activity of glycogen synthase enzyme. But it activates phosphorylase kinase, which in turn activates glycogen phosphorylase enzyme. So, glycogenolysis is increased due to increased activity of glycogen phosphorylase by glucagon. With its predominant action, glucagon increases the gluconeogenesis by increasing the availability of substrates, availability of energy, and activity of key enzymes. Glucagon increases the entry of glucogenic amino acids to the liver. And here you can see the entry points to the pathway as blue circles. Glucagon increases the lipolysis via increased activity of hormone sensitive lipase enzyme. This in turn increases the availability of free fatty acids and glycerol in the liver. Glycerol joins the pathway like this. Increased free fatty acids go through fatty acid oxidation and provides additional energy requirements for the gluconeogenesis. Glucagon also increases the activity of PEP carboxykinase enzyme. Finally, the rate of gluconeogenesis is increased. Don't forget that there is also a reduced peripheral uptake of glucose by adipose tissue, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle because their glucose transporter is GLUT4 which is insulin dependent but now glucagon has a predominant action let's see what are the net effects of diabetes mellitus regarding carbohydrate metabolism due to increased rate of gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis the hepatic glucose output is increased Due to the inhibition of other pathways such as glycolysis, there is a decrease in peripheral utilization of glucose. Finally, this causes a negative caloric balance. So that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Thank you for watching.